Good afternoon, chat. How are you guys doing? It was not recognizing my controller. This isn't UFO 50. I know, I think I finally got past the uh, UFO 50 addiction. I think I finally broke the barrier. Yo, Restless, thank you so much for that raid. And thank you for 38 months. Thank you so much. Uh, Zephalos, thank you for 29 months. Thank you both very much. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Hollow Body. We played a little bit of it the other day. It's kind of a Silent Hill vibe horror game. Um, nothing, nothing super spooky has really happened yet. It's kind of just been like your stereotypical, like, oh, here's spooky monsters and we're in a, we're in a kind of slow burn horror experience. Um, the plot so far is... We, uh, we are looking for our friend, lover, Sasha. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's like we're family or partners or whatnot. Um, we're looking for Sasha. She's been missing for a few weeks. She went out to this, um, basically secluded, uh, place that's quarantined off. Um, it's like the year 2060 something, I want to say. Um, it, there's there's like a cyberpunk futuristic side to it, but we're not really dealing with any of that. We're dealing with this like this like floating landmass got sanctioned off, and people lived there, and then it just got like I think it just got like bombed or something happened there. I I don't exactly remember what happened to the place, um, but shit went bad. Our friend went missing while on an expedition with like a, a bunch of other like scientists and researchers or whatnot. We came in to find her um, and our flying car got like EMP'd or something. We crashed and now we're just looking for a way out. Um, we're still looking for Sasha, but we're, we're also just stuck here. So yeah, that's kind of it. Hope everyone's doing okay. Hope um I, I just learned about the uh the category five hurricane that's about to hit Florida. Um uh, my folks are all out of country right now, so I was trying to get a hold of them, but I can't. I'm assuming they don't have a because they don't have the same phone plan as me where I can just text whatever number, you know, internationally. No! Also, this is our friend. No! We, uh, we saved him from jumping off a building. Um, no! because we said we know a way out of here. So he's joining us. Also, hey, Dan. Hi, bud. Thank you for 20 months. Just checked in with your parents, looking like they're going to be okay. That's good. No! Ah! Also, our weapon is a guitar that I found. Ah! And I love that. Plays a little... Yeah. So that's where we're going. Let's just check these corners first then. Oh, my thing's making a... So we have this, um... This radio that, like, lets us hear, like, past conversations and stuff like that. 
it's neat, but the conversations are kind of like. A little slow paced. Sir, I'm sorry, but this area has been declared unfit for residence by the court of law. Sherwood will aid with your relocation. You will be assigned suitable housing in line with the value of your current property. I've lived here for 52 years. You have no right. Walking in here like you own the place. It's very quiet. Dude, the radio in Silent Hill 1 used to terrify me as a kid. I remember one year in college, um, I changed my text message sound, uh, for Hollow, like, for October to be the, the static. Um, that did not last long because I, I remember, uh, I remember like walking across campus late at night and then like got a fucking text message and it was just like And I was like nope, okay, that's that I'm changing that right now like <laughs> Terrible idea Hi Saren Oh, we have a flashlight too torch We get, oh, we got a bunch. Was a little low for a bit. It's one of those two, like, you, you just run past all the enemies if you really want. Aha! Oh, he's stuck on the other side of the fence. He hasn't figured out fences yet. Nothing here? Okay. Just a slight detour. There he goes. He's just like, oh, my arm hurts. He will talk to us occasionally when we have something to talk about.
Looks like we're going that way. Come on. I like their uh, little like screams. The cool audio effect. Nothing. What flavor are Swedish fish? I had to say, I guess, like a cherry, I guess. We got some crisps. Yeah, go go in there in one second. I just want to check this. All right, that's the way we're going. Hit you guys through the wall. Soy milk. Carnes and milk alternatives in synthetic milk. Pack of fuses hangs on the display stand. Take yes, yes. Oh shit. Oh, do we go all the way back, chat? Oh. That's so far away. Watermelon juice. Chocolate flavored milk. Jasper used to love this stuff. Packet instant noodles. Things last forever. They're probably still good to eat. See, it looks like we're supposed to go through there. I think I just missed a prompt. I, yeah, apparently you have to click on the corner. Newspaper article has been added. 
Tensions rise and Sherwood Project faces scrutiny in Bardston. Barn's done. Um, Sherwood's ambitious revitalization project, uh, once held a beacon of hope, now faces growing discontent. As construction advances, the initial enthusiasm surrounding the initiative has given way to frustration and skepticism. Locals voicing concerns about disruptions and unmet promises. Months into the project's implementation, Barnsden's residents have been experiencing the practical implications of ambitious overhaul. Construction sites dotting the city have caused significant disruptions, affecting daily routines and businesses. Many residents initially hope for employment opportunities, lament the slow pace of job creation, exacerbating existing financial strains. Sherwood, the driving horse behind the endeavor, has faced mounting criticism over perceived delays and inadequate community engagement. We understand the concerns of the community. Our aim remains to positive change, but we acknowledge the setbacks. As frustrations escalate, residents call for, for greater transparency and the tangible progress from Sherwood. The charity now faces critical juncture with public sentiment shifting amid rising discontent, highlighting the complexities of executing large-scale projects in local communities. For inquiries and statements regarding the ongoing project, please contact Sherwood Estate Management LTD at info at SherwoodEstatesManagement.com. They're going to have a piece of my mind. A monster crawl from there. That'd be sick. Two fuses remain. Hmm. An offer I can't refuse. Oh, you. Oh, chat. You know just what to say. The station's not far now. I think we're just a couple of streets over. Good. Let's keep moving. Paper. Discarded letter. Hey, Casey, been a while. I have no idea this will even get to you, but we've been out of power for weeks. Things here in Barnston have really gone to shit. More than normal. The high street's all boarded up. Business is there just one day and empty the next, so like everything's gone. The place is starting to look like a ghost town. This is the fucking opposite of what they promised. We're saying some folks have gone missing. Everyone's on the edge. Sure, we're brought in their own security crew, and now it feels like we're walking on eggshells. People are keeping to themselves, afraid to even step outside. Feeling pretty on edge too. It's like the whole city's holding its breath. Drop a line when you can. Oh shit, we're gonna get towed. Oh god. Uh where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Hoping it loops us back around. Because I really want to use that fuse, but I also don't want to go through like this the fucking sewers again and everything. Like that's so much time. I'm gonna hope it takes us back there somehow.
Well, we got a wiggly man. Oh, we got a fucking crab, too. We lost my boy. He's caught on a wall somewhere. Always be pressing A. aware of some frustrations caused by the reasonable delays or apologize for the extended inconvenience okay hey he found us he caught up bud good job Okay, question chat. For folks who have played this game, should I run all the way back to the to the, ho the first place or will the game take me back there at some point? I'll have to run back. Oh. All right, let's just do it now.
I was curious if we ran faster without a weapon, but it doesn't look like we do. So how was your day, chat? How's, uh, how's everyone doing? We definitely don't have like 15 minutes of running back to go through. There's a big boy that way. Oh, there's two big boys. Bro. Okay. Your microwave likes to run on its own. That was not hard. That's spooky. Trying to recover from having the flu all weekend. Oh no. I hope I hope you are feeling better. It's starting to calm down. Aw. Yeah, it takes take as much rest as you need over Dan. I know that sucks is just being like, oh I gotta fucking rest. This was, um, it came out of the sewers, I think, right? I swear, video game, this better be worth it. I have a feeling it's just gonna be like, like the Magnum or something, you know, like. I yeah, hope everyone's feeling better. It's like we made no progress.
Oh, hi. That's new. Used to be a, a bunch of locked up keys. Or like a bunch of padlocks with symbols on them. Kingdom Hearts joke in there. Something, something, key door. Heart. Light. Darkness. Is any of this real? He's stuck on the other side of the gate. He didn't go through the gate with me. Boy, this feels like really... bad. It's like a solid 10, 15 minutes of backtracking. Maybe something super cool will be worth it. I'm, maybe this is totally optional as well. I just, it's been plaguing me that I missed a area back at the beginning of the game, you know? Bug the piss out of you, too. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, like, they can't... If... if They hadn't made a, a stink of being like, Oh, there's a key just out of reach here. It's like, oh, well, fucking, of course I want the it key. It is now time for crab. Of course I want the key. Sammy! I want to say your stream's been really nice to listen to while you're having a crap day. Aw, thank you so much. I'm sorry you're having a crap day, but I'm, I'm happy I can help in some small way.
Okay, the moment we've been waiting for, chat. It's all gonna be totally worth it. I heard there was a sequel to Alien Isolation in development. Yeah, it's awesome. I kind of want to replay the first one. Oh, he's waiting. Can I even do anything? I don't think I can even do it. Oh no, I feel like a fuckhead. Maybe, maybe I can use the hook. Oh, I really hope, <laughs> I really hope I didn't run all the way here for no fucking point. Apartment key. You should finally play copy of Island Alien Isolation. My one tip with Alien Isolation is uh, don't play on the harder difficulties. The alien gets pretty unfair. I think it's still a good experience on whatever difficulty you play, but I just remember playing on harder difficulties and the alien just becomes obnoxiously hard. I guess now the thing that I'm thinking about is Oh weird, it didn't pop up the menu that time. It's like Is that a flamethrower? It would be rude to let it go to waste. stay here much longer. I think I'm the only one left now. Heard some guys knocking around with radios weren't far from here. Kept talking about quarantine zone, complaining about shift cycles. Not been back in weeks. The whole building's dead. Just hear the pipe season up. Fuck it. Flamethrower Mark II is done. Just a new cooker ignition. Leave the old one here. Maybe some soul can make use of it. Or hey, if you think that's, uh, or hey, if that's you, then give him hell. 
We'll leave you with a full tank. Sorry, I burped. Forgive me, please. Please! Okay, well, hey, flamethrower. Maybe not worth of a, like, 15, 20 minute detour. But we did it. So now we need to find whatever that heart situation is. I think it was three keys. But we have we have no keys, so I don't think we're gonna be coming back for that anytime soon. They always play games on easy just to experience it without getting frustrated. Whatever's easiest, then increase the difficulty to your level of tolerance usually stays on easy. Yeah, there's there's definitely some games where I'm like, just throw it on easy if it's like I just want the story kind of thing. But sometimes I like to just do like give me give me the brutally hard difficulty. Sometimes. Isolation is a game where the death should feel, each death should feel scary. You did the hard difficulty thing, it was just unfun. Yeah. It, the, the, the AI on the alien just becomes like so aggressive, and it become it kind of just turns into like ba like basically trial and error over and over and over again. That's the only part about that game that I think is a little frustrating. If you if you play it on lower stuff though, it, like you'll probably have a wonderful time. It is. Such a good aesthetic, the alien universe, but like that retro futurism. I love that shit. I was kind of hoping more. I, 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 I'm kind of a broken record with this game. I just was hoping for more cyberpunk stuff in this. You can't play Portal anymore because it get motion sick. Aw. Portal is definitely a game that uh, will kind of set you off. Especially going through like portals where you're like flipping and stuff like that. It's very nauseating. A lot of spinning. I can't believe they made me go all the way back. <laughs> like, it's so... If, if, like, repopulate the enemies if you're gonna make me go back, too. I know I probably would complain if the enemies were back, but it at least would be something going on, you know?
Portal games in VR. Yeah, I I don't uh I don't really have my VR legs because I've only I've only played VR like twice in my life, and one of them was at like a mall. I was just curious. I really I really want to experience VR stuff at some point. Play VR chat and just go around and look at stuff. It seems fun. I love the out of sync hit sound effect. Here under cardiac rest, we got a joker over here. Okay, so I think now we went into the shop. I'm gonna save here again. stick to reset the camera is uh, a choice. I kind of wish they would do more of that. You know, fixed cameras. I love that. Some, uh, like, canted camera angles. Continue the video game, guys. Woo wee! An hour into stream, we're gonna play the video game. This is the wrong way. I already reloaded the shotgun.
empty. Have I not picked up like a shit ton of shotgun ammo? Guess not. You'll be right back in case you end up in Okay. Yeah, I appreciate the... The friendly nudges. Friendly nudges, though. Why did I say that so weird? Helpful nudges. That's maybe more appropriate. <laughs> It's the, it's the new Facebook poke. A friendly nudge. Did you guys... I, I fucking hated the poking system on Facebook. That was such a weird... thing. I don't know if you guys remember that, but like, when Facebook was first around, and it was just a college... Uh, like, originally you had to have a college email to join Facebook. Um, and you could poke people. It would, and it would just say, like, you've been poked by Dan Jones. Like, it would just, it would say that on your, like, notifications. Yeah, I was, I was, I was there when Facebook first, first started. And I, I liked it when it was first around. Like, it was, it was, it was very enjoyable. And then it just kind of became, like, fucking ad vomit. And then everyone apparently like went insane with their hot takes. Like, oh, this, ah, oh, public forum. Time to post the most heinous political statements I can think of. And it's like, okay. Maybe we stop using Facebook. Okay, so the shotgun ammo is only four. Maybe that's why I thought I had a lot more. Facebook was always worse MySpace. Eh, I would disagree. MySpace was all right for the time being. I need to tell you something. When we talked, no, when we fought that night. Like, yeah, you could customize your site and put understand. on music and stuff like that. I knew, I know how much this meant to you. But it was I pretty impossible finding other people in MySpace, there. from what I remember. To not be by your side, to support you when you need it most. I shouldn't have let it get to me. It was selfish. You'd made your mind up, and I respect that. I just wish things had been different. For all of us. So, uh, which way now? And just fucking curb stomp his, his toes. Creepy lady, talk to us again. Who's definitely not Sasha. Hello? I know you're there. I can hear you breathing. That's so unconditional. I can feel you. Do you ever give it up? I'm getting out of here. You'll never 
see me again. No. Not yet. We have unfinished business. Jeez, oh, just talk straight for once. I don't know you. I don't care to know you. You're my feelings. Just tell me, please. What's going on here? Really? Well, that would spoil the surprise. You don't know shit, do you? You're just as lost as I am. Sad. And alone. You're sad. Your voice is trembling. I'm not scared. I'm just... I'm fucking tired. I want my friend back and... I, I want to go home. Home is where the heart is. Can you hear it? Bleaching. Yeah, sorry. I'm done with your creepy stalker shit. I'm leaving. Have a nice life. So where the heart is, we gotta do the, the heart stuff. What do you mean? I literally just picked up ammo. What the fuck? It just keeps deleting my ammo. That's so annoying. Okay, so the shotgun's bugged. That sucks. Shotgun ammo four. And then, and then you came out of nowhere. Cool.
Okay, just don't equip the thing. Thank you. I'm so annoyed about the shotgun thing. Okay, let's go this way because it looked like that was the actual path I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Unless this is the way I came in. Is it? No. Do they just loop? All right, don't attack me, enemies. I gotta listen to my radio. Mom, step away from the game. Ma'am. It's not yet operational. Citizens are advised to stay in their homes until. It's moving. I see it moving. I'm not gonna ask you again. Return to your homes. How do you sleep at night? Look at us. We're starving to death in here. You cut off our water supply and then make us fight over your stupid bottles. Guys, he's leaving. Stand down, right now. Let me past. Let, let me past. Open the gate. Bless him. Dude, I had a dream last night that I woke I I I got so angry in the dream I woke up like I woke up so pissed off. I was it was like seething with anger. I I I don't think I've ever experienced that kind of dream before. Or at least enough where it, it affected me to the point I woke myself up because I was so mad. Okay, the flamethrower does absolutely nothing. Got it. Had a few dreams like that. Woke up yelling at someone. Yeah, that was it. I was I was yelling at someone. I had a fight. Not a fist fight, just a yelling fight in my dream. I got so mad.
my god, it, it won't target the big guy. Yep. No, it's super cool. Wait, this is a different pathway. I thought they looped together. Oh, okay, I fucked up. Uh, that was weird. My computer blue screened. Sorry about that, chat. Don't know what happened. Chat is too powerful. It wasn't chat. Thanks for noticing. The stream went down. Thank you. 
cool game. Commodore noticed that there have been several instances where confidentiality has been breached with the details pertaining to the work in Kingsway Court spreading outside of our organization. The, sense, the protection of sensitive data is utmost importance to ECHO initiatives by all subsidiaries, and any compromise in the area poses a significant threat to our clients, the reputation, and the trust they place in our services. Uh, we have identified and taken decisive action against those individuals suspected to be involved in embarking on a series of initiatives aimed at fortifying our internal controls and ensuring the confidentiality of our data. Thank you. 
The final fuse. <clears throat> Seems like that did the Twelve shotgun shots. how my uh my friend just take block shots bro i stepped on him like thing this takes gold coins okay I think there was an ammo I missed over here cool
Remember that game Lost in Vivo? Where you're on the train tracks and then the like demon train starts coming at you? It was a good spooky game. A deep hole swallowed the rail you think line. She's down there. Your friend? Eastbound tunnel, two miles in. She's here. It's a long way. You sure about this? <laughs> you sound like tax. Your friend from the city on the waves? He called it a one way trip. Begged me not to go. I'm glad you did. I'll wait here for you. Please, come back. I'll be back before you know it. Take care of yourself. I'll wait for you here. Be careful down there. Saved. Austin Vivo is great. I think um, the same devs went on to make um, Lunacid, which is also really good. Not a spooky game, but Lunacid was fantastic. The font for the dialogue is it meant to be evocative or something. Silent Hill 2. Fantastic. I don't know. Feeling pretty crummy. Feeling pretty crummy about myself. What is this? A nun. Is that Sasha? Detonator hangs in the clutches of the researcher's hand. Tap Y and detonator within proximity. Yeah, that seems like a fucking bad idea. Oh, now comes the unkillable monster that I'm gonna have to use these on.
cool. For you guys for a second did for me maybe maybe my blue screen thing is like an audio thing i've been having kind of funky audio it did for a second okay we go back okay so it followed me this way what is it about like horror game runs you think a horror game run would be like faster than a normal game run you know there's the panic involved Faster, but a chance to stumble. Yeah, like, what if what if there was, like, a faster run, but there was some kind of, like, you know, dead stranding where you have to, like, hold the triggers to not stumble or something, you know? Time stood still as I limped toward her. Her body curled among the roots of something unlike I've seen. I reached out and touched her neck. She had a pulse. Sash, can you hear me? It's, it's me. It's Mika. I'm gonna get you out of here. Her eyes briefly flutter open, the corner of her mouth tilting to a faint smile. Fleeting smile gave way to a look of terror. I can't, I can't move my legs. Reality hit me like a ten-ton truck. Her leg was badly broken, maybe both. I see something protruding from her skin, something that should be inside. I was so focused on finding her, I hadn't considered a way out. It's, it's okay, hon. Tax is coming. He's coming for us. He's, he's gonna get us out. I don't, don't want to die here. Hey, stop that. That's not how this ends, you hear me? I didn't come all this way to give up on you now. I grasped up my radio. I knew my chances. We were miles underground, surrounded by dirt and rock. Nothing. Just the familiar sound of the radio chasing static across bands. Oh, fuck. Think, Mika. Think. Glancing out of the room, I heard something. I felt the ringing protruding the back of my skull. Answer the call? Sure. Thank you for calling Sherwood Estate Management. Please hold out one of our operators who will be with you shortly. It's not what I was expecting. It's you. 
did you see? My heart skipped as a lump formed in my throat. I don't know what to do. I don't understand any of this. It's okay, Mika. None of them might be here with you. I can help. You can't help me. I wish you could, but... That's where you are mistaken. Look around you, Mika. I look on in disbelief as the room transforms into something I struggle to put into words. Light dances in the air as the roots of the withered old tree glow like the beacons on my hover's runway. Last my words were the one to by this device that binds me. That does not mean I can't be the one to help you. It's beautiful. We are not that different. You and I, I too have suffered. Wishing to be free of these shackles. I don't understand. Is this... How are you doing this? You need not worry anymore, Nidalika. Tell your friend to follow my heart. I will guide him. The line clicks to a dial tone. Wait. I don't understand. Please. Please hold while we forward your call. Patience is appreciated. Uh, hello. Um. Tax. Tax, is that really you? Wake up. Jesus, fuck, are you seeing this? Place is lit up like a Christmas tree. Wait, 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 wait. How are you calling me? <sighs> Never mind that. Tax, you got to help me. I found her. She's a here, but she... She's a hurt, but she's a here. Okay, okay, hold on. Tell me where you are. I don't know. It's a... Like a cave of some kind. Must be less than a mile out from the city limits. Tax, I know how this sounds, but... You just need to follow the lights, okay? I, I took the westbound tunnel, like you said. But it was a wreck at the... The tracks caved into this huge cavern. That's where I found her. I found her, Tax. I got you. I'm at the tunnel entrance now. It was dark, but now it's clear as day. You think you can hold out for just a little while longer? <sighs> Tax, we haven't got much time. I'm coming, Nick. I'm going no time, I promise. Click as Tax ends the call. Tax is here. He's coming. You're safe now. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, good. She looks a little different. Just try not to think about it. Meek. Can you tell me a story? Does she have that? Pattern on her face last time? A story. Well, I still think about that day we met. It was the coldest winter. The first time I'd seen real snow. We walked in wearing more layers than the city itself. Coats upon coats. swamped on Fridays after the lunch buckets clock out. I couldn't have said more than a few words to you. And yet, I couldn't keep my eyes off you. Yeah, but where's Wounded Stranger? Something special between us. Something worth holding on to. Whatever happens, wherever we end up, 
I'll never let go. So in that time, the tree ate us. And tax is trapped as well. But what about wounded stranger? Did he make it? I guess we're skipping the credits. Sorry about that, chat. Wow, taxes even help wounded strangers helping us. I wonder if there's more than one ending. There's gotta be. Ending Riven. First person mode. Big head mode. Punish difficulty. Talk a little faster, mysterious figure. 
So is this going to New Game Plus now? Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I I don't know if I'm that invested enough to do a new game plus. Like is it just gonna start us over? Punished. Enemy corpses require burning to prevent them from reanimating. I like how it tells you after. Warning. <laughs> Several. That was I'm, curi I'm curious what, if we start it's with stuff. There is it. Sorry. I'm so confused though about like. There's that big giant beating heart that was that had three locks in it, but I don't have any extra keys. Would you like to know about the heart? Yes. Is it just using the keys that you happen to have through the game? I'm assuming it's when that, when the, the tree tells us to go to the heart. I needed to run back to it. Cut content puzzle. Oh. So are there other endings? I'm assuming maybe if I don't answer the phone call. Tax. Uh, tax. Do you copy? Yeah, let's um slow this auto save. We got the good one. There's three endings. The good one is Sasha's dead and we get get kidnapped technically not the best one huh there's two innings and a joke ending do you think do you think it's worth doing the others I, I think I think I'm kind of good Is a horrible ending we got through. Not entirely. Yeah, I think I think I'm I think I'm satisfied with that. Very weird. Like one. Yeah, maybe maybe updates will come to it. But like weirdly super short game. And, and the majority of it felt like I was just backtracking. Like, why did, why was there even a flamethrower? I guess the flamethrower is nice because then I don't have to use the lighter on stuff. Length isn't the issue, it's how you use it. They didn't use it well. <laughs> like, it, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's got some cool ideas and it felt, you know, very Silent Hill, especially the, the start of the game, exploring through the places. But like... Most of the puzzles were the like the only real puzzle thing that we got was the like opening up the the tombs. Um like I liked that. 
Uh, I liked I liked exploring the apartment complex, like getting the different keys and and forcing the doors to open with the fire alarm and stuff like that. It's always good to have a flamethrower handy, save on layer fluid. If you play this back on launch and experience the same thing that I'm having right now. Yeah, I don't know. It was just it was just weird. Like I I, I already talked about like my issues with the like weird cool cyberpunk aesthetic that they did of flying through this like cool city and then they're like here's this boring suburbs like very odd they got their menu noises so close to sound how you wonder if they recreated an ad them yeah they might have been just um like stock stuff that they bought. Weird. I don't know. I guess I guess I was just expecting more from this. Like it just kind of ended. Like what's what's my total play time? Less than five hours. Probably probably would have been four hours if I didn't run back and get the flamethrower. <laughs> huh. The city to suburb change felt very true to life, which isn't very thrilling for a fantasy game. Yeah. I, like, I, I think if they didn't have the, the cyberpunk as, like, background... I would have been more okay with this, like, the apartment complex suburbs. Because then it's like, why would you choose the less interesting of the two? And then also just like, like there was that big face that appeared in, in the house and that nothing, nothing followed up there. Like we just start hallucinating, I guess. And then the tree takes over us. I don't know, not, I'm not satisfied. <laughs> not satisfied had a lot of stuff going for it I, I think it just uh didn't do it for me darkwood had a better giant evil tree dude fucking darkwood so good dan is not satisfied well i all, i didn't realize that, that was going to be like 2 hours um How was mouthwash? Mouthwashing was incredible. Highly recommend. Zelda 2 Rando. I was going to set up the Zelda 2 Rando, um, but I don't, I just haven't been feeling it lately. I still do need to set it all up, though. Could play some OG Silent Hill. Zooter. Mm. I don't know. Do I do what do I do I feel like anything? Time for UFO fifty. I really don't feel like playing UFO fifty right now. Hmm. I'm like I'm like surprisingly bummed about that. I, I was I was kind of expecting more. Oh, you know what I do have? I did not do. 